Hey VC, it's uh, Jonathan giving you a part two on my uh, video of all my uh, finds I had recently. I had that big um, 500 record uh, deal I got last week. Uh, I did a video the other day of uh, some of the stuff out of there, so today I'm going to do part two. Um, I'm just going to show a little tidbits here and there. I'm not going to show everything because I ended up giving away or trading in about 400 of the records and kept about 100 for myself. So I'm not going to go through all 100, but I'll sort of pick and choose the best of the best, I think. Um, got a lot to do, so let's get to it. First one up is one I never saw before. Really looks great. It's called the Zigzag Festival from Mercury Records. Uh, double uh, compilation of stuff from Mercury and features people like Blue Cheer, Screaming Jay Hawkins, uh, Rod Stewart doing hand glad, handbags and glad rags, David Bowie doing uh, Space Oddity, uh, Mother Earth, some early Joe Cocker, uh, a band called Coven, Sir Douglas Quintet, uh, Big Mama Thornton, uh, Cubby and the Blizzard, so I have no idea where they are, that sounds good, uh, Tracy Nelson, the Youngbloods, and ending up with um, Jerry Lee Lewis doing Working Man Blues. So, can't wait to get this cleaned up and give this a spin and see what this sounds like. But, Zigzag Festival. Looks good to me. Next one's another compilation I picked up. Um, it's called Zapped uh, on Bizarre Records. So this has uh, Alice Cooper, uh, Captain Beefheart, uh, Wild Man Fisher, um, Lord Buckley, Jeff Simmons, the Mothers of Invention, of course, the GTOs, and Frank Zappa. So this looks like another great compilation from uh, Bizarre Records. And there's the back with all the uh, different bands on it. Uh, this was, can't find a date here. I would imagine it's somewhere in the late 60s, but <laughs> that looks really cool too. Um, next one I found, which I had to have, I love this, was actually one of the be better rock movies of all times, was Joe Cocker, Mad Dogs and Englishman. Probably the best thing he ever did. Um, Nice gatefold, and this is with Leon Russell and his band. So, again, looking forward to get this cleaned up. Oh, and it has the uh, built-in poster. Very cool. Um, yeah, Leon Russell and his band with everybody: Don uh, Preston, Carl Rydell, Jim Gordon, um, Bobby Keys, etc. So. A great, great album. Again, I think the best thing Joe Cocker ever did, so that would be great to get cleaned up. Next one is a, a classic uh, Junior Walker and the All-Stars, Soul Session. This is from 1968. Um, again, just cleaned this up this morning, haven't had a chance to play it yet, so looking forward to this, but uh, love that uh, Detroit sound with Junior Walker and the All-Stars, so that's going to be a good listen. Then I got a, another, oh, in the background, by the way, we're listening to um, Spirit, the family that plays together. That was another one from the uh, stack of records I got, the couple of boxes. Uh, passed a lot of stuff on, but uh, some of the stuff I kept and had to keep the spirit. Uh, this next one is um, <clears throat> Buckwheat Zydeco. Uh, on a night like this, nice little obscure uh, Zydeco record. Just cleaned that up this morning. Again, haven't had a chance to spin it yet, but I'm sure it's very good. Not looking looking forward to that at all a lot. Uh, on Island Records, 1987. So that should be very cool. Loving that Zydeco. Next one, I haven't heard this yet, but I have a couple albums by this guy. Garland Jeffries. This is uh, American Boy and Girl. Garland Jeffries is like a songwriter, songwriter. Kind of guy that uh, a lot of people don't know, but I really love a couple of his earlier stuff. Uh, he had an album called uh, One Eye Jacks, which I have, which I love. Uh, this was, uh, I think, his third album. 1980, 1979. There's the back of it. Uh, Garland's still around, still performing. He's uh, friends with Springsteen, etc. It's the kind of guy that 
all the musicians know, but uh, never really made it big in the public eye, but he's great. Next one, another classic, John Lennon, Rock and Roll. Again, not a great, great album, but something you have to have in your collection. And looks like a nice clean copy. It's a reprint from uh, the mid 80s, but still looking forward to getting that on the turntable. This is a, another compilation, but uh, a good one. David Bowie, uh, you know, Space Odyssey, uh, Ziggy Stardust, uh, etc. It's a Rebel Rebel, Young Americans, Fame, so all that great stuff on it. And uh, I don't have a lot of David Bowie, so I'm happy to get this. <laughs> also had this one, which I really am looking forward to, John Mayall. This is Jazz Blues Fusion. Uh, from 72 with um, Larry Taylor playing bass guitar Larry Taylor formerly of um, Can't Heat um, yeah and Freddie Robinson on guitar so this looks cool too looking forward to that then I got one two three albums by Fabulous Thunderbirds all in really new clean condition there's the uh, Fabulous Thunderbirds, Attention United States, Mexico, and Canada. 11 great songs. Then Fabulous Thunderbirds, What's the Word? And the last one, the Fabulous Thunderbirds, Hot Number. So, love the Thunderbirds. Saw them once at an amazing concert in New York back in the uh, late 80s. With um, They opened the show. Then Bonnie Raitt came out. Then Dr. John came out, and then B.B. King closed the show. So that was an amazing experience. So I got to see the Fabulous Thunderbirds way back when. This is probably the one I was the most excited to find, and uh, one of the ones that worth the most. I don't really care about the worth, but it's what I like. This is Tom Waits, and this is uh, Frank's Wild Years. Original gatefold in like brand new condition I was so excited to see this <clears throat> mixed in with everything else so of course I grabbed that right away couldn't let that go another uh, band everybody knows with a pretty decent album Get Your Yaya's Out The Rolling Stones this, I don't know if it's an original or a repress haven't had a chance to check it out yet it's on London blue label looks pretty good I'm sure everybody knows this album. They re-released it recently with a bunch of other uh, outtakes, uh, outtakes on it with other bands, but a great one of the, one of the really good live albums out there. This one I haven't heard again. Uh, I know the group and I've heard all the stuff by them, but this one I don't particularly know. Savoy Brown, Looking In, Nice Gatefold, in decent shape. Not, uh, not obviously far from mint, as you can see. There's plenty of wear on the label there but uh again the record i haven't really had a chance to check this out yet i got so I have 100 albums i gotta clean them all go through them all but uh looking forward to checking this out savoy brown looking in next one one of the greats jeff beck this is um what do you know what it's called it's called there and back there and back uh jeff beck from uh, 1980 so, oh, this is the one with the text recover, which is sort of cool. Looking forward to that. This is a promo copy, double LP. The cover's a little messed up, but uh, it didn't matter to me. Jimi Hendrix, uh, a documentary from Warner Brothers. Features songs, everywhere, everything from uh, Hey Joe, Red House, uh, Johnny Be Good. Uh, like a Rolling Stone, Machine Gun with the Gypsy, Band of Gypsies, Rock Me. So, looking forward to getting this cleaned up and seeing what this sounds like. And it's again, it's a promo, I think it's a white label promo. Let's check, yes. Nice white label promo. So that's cool. Can never have enough Jimi Hendrix in your collection. Next one is a uh, another classic guitar player, Dwayne Allman. 
This is an anthology, volume two. Two record set. Again, haven't heard this one yet. Got to clean it up first, but uh, all looks good to me. I got to check the time here. I got to... Hold on one second. I'm sorry. Oh, going out of time here. All right, let's move it along. Next one is a double. Buddy Holly. Legend. This is from the original Master Tapes. Gatefold. Really nice gatefold. Two record set. Has all those classics in it. That'll be the day. Oh boy, not fade away. Maybe baby, Peggy Sue. Everything you need. Rave on, my favorite. So really looking forward to this one. Big Buddy Holly fan. And two more. This one I took just my wife. I'm not a huge fan, but it looks sort of fun. The monkeys. Then and now, the best of the monkeys. Again, with the gatefold, obviously it's a reissue. And has everything from Last Train to Clarksville, I'm a Believer, I'm Not Your Stepping Stone, Pleasant Valley Sunday, Daydream Believer. Everything you need for the monkeys. So, one record sort of covers it all. And then the last one I'm going to show today, I was really surprised to see and so happy to get it. The Boss, Bruce Springsteen, live, 73, 75 to 85, five record set. The binding isn't broken on the box, which is amazing. With the original booklet, all five records look in really good condition. So that is a huge find, I think. Really looking forward to that. So those are the, some of the, just some of the picks of some of the stuff I found on my 500 record. Uh, the thing I got from my buddy down in the um, Boston area. Um, got to gotta clean a bunch up and listen to some more. I think I'm going to be in a hiatus now for buying for a while because I... Got so much work to do here. Um, if I get to it, I'll do a third video maybe of some of the uh, last of the last of that uh, the 100 records I kept. A um, couple of things. I finally hit over 50 subscribers. That's great. Uh, pushing through there. And I'm up to around 55, 56 subscribers. So I really appreciate everybody who's uh, subscribed, who likes the videos, likes listen in, listening in. Uh, I've been checking out a lot of other people's videos and uh, liking a lot of the stuff. So if um, you like what you saw, make a comment down below. If you're a new, sub new time watcher, subscribe down below also. I appreciate it. And um, keep digging. Until next time, peace.